Do you guys know how many germs are on your phone? According to Phone Soap, our phones have 18 times more bacteria than a public restroom. Gross. That's pretty disgusting. Hey guys, Andy here coming to you from the eternal pandemic where everybody wears a mask. All right, guys, welcome to Tech with Andy. Tech talk for the rest of us. Please consider hitting that subscribe button because uh, I'm dropping new content all the time. I want you to be the first one to know about it. And today we're talking about a very pandemic uh, inspired topic of uh, sanitation and disinfection. I don't think this is the only phone sanitizer on the market, but it is one of the more popular. This is a product that came alive through Shark Tank. Uh, and I think they're going to do pretty well given that this is just because this is just super appropriate, right? So let's talk about what this thing really is. Um, first, they market it as a phone sanitizer and charger. This is what it looks like. Uh, you can see it about the size of my hand. Um, I'm using my phone, but here are my AirPods to give you a, a good reference of this thing is quite large and it needs to be quite large obviously it needs to fit a phone inside of it uh, so it's a phone charger and sanitizer and we're gonna get into uh, what it does in a minute in the box you get simple again this is the phone soap 3 so they do make a couple different versions I'll tell you about those you get the phone sanitizer and charger and a power cable so the way this is going to work is power cable plugs into the back of the phone soap and then it does have some USB charger uh, ports on the back here USB-C and USB-A and you use your existing phone cable uh, and run it through the little notch there and you can plug your phone in while it's taking a bath um, phone soap I mentioned they do make a couple other products this one like I just showed you does need to be plugged in so not mobile they do make a mobile version so there is one I think phone soap go maybe that does have an internal battery that you can charge so you travel a lot you want to charge your phone in the airport or something like that they do make that they also make a wireless charging version uh, that doesn't require a cable so obviously you just drop your phone in it charges wirelessly while it's disinfecting and they also even make a much larger version than this you see it here called the home soap and this is much larger this you can fit things inside like iPads maybe a couple different phones a pair of sunglasses maybe a remote control your keys, you name it, you fit it inside, throw it in there and sanitize it. And that's what they say about this little guy too. If it fits, it'll sanitize. And I'm gonna show you a couple ideas that I came to mind for me to sanitize. For example, you saw me wearing my mask, drop that in there, make sure it's good to go, close it up. Now my mask isn't gonna charge, but it will sanitize. They say, and it comes with a nice little instruction manual, uh, plug phone soap 3 into power with provided cord. Place phone in the center of sanitizing bay. Close the lid to begin disinfection. After 10 minutes, receive newly sanitized phone. Uh, they claim 10 minutes. I put that to the test. It's exactly 10 minutes. It must just be on a timer. I don't think there's any internal indication of germs being killed. So 10 minute cycle and this little Thunderbolt icon looking thing on the top does light up so you know that it's on So when you first close it it lights up it's sanitizing and when it's done It just turns off so you know it's done and you can open it and off you go You can just open it in the middle. There's no harm there. Uh, you won't get blasted with UVC light Speaking of that, let's talk about that. How does this kill all those germs and they claim guys 99.9% .9 of germs and they even state cold and flu viruses. So we're not just talking bacteria, we're talking viruses. This thing is just a disinfecting powerhouse. Now, if you have kids like I do, then this becomes a problem. And now everything in your house has to be sanitized or it doesn't, depends what side of the spectrum you're on really, right? Um, but maybe you're careful and you wanna sanitize everything. This just gives you another reason to do that. Um, and how does it do that? 
Well, I alluded to it already. Inside of it, you can see it has these two light filaments. These are USB, not USB, they're not USB guys. They're UV lights of the UVC variety. So maybe you already heard of UVC. Uh, there's different spectrums of UV out there, but UVC has been made popular for killing bacteria um, and viruses. Um, but what the heck does that mean? What is UVC? How does UVC kill all these germs? It's science. Okay, we're not gonna go in detail on the science here. If you want really to know, if you're really curious how UVC kills all those germs, I'm going to refer you over to Bill Nye. He, I'm sure he has a video out there somewhere talking about how awesome UVC is at killing these germs. And no, this doesn't work by injecting any kind of bleach inside your phone or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. Okay, so I mentioned the USB-C bulbs in here and your, my first thought, maybe yours is too, as these things will get pretty hot. Um, and they don't. I'll tell you from firsthand, I ran some tests, I threw my phone in here, so I'm recording this from a nice, nicely newly disinfected phone. But no, it doesn't get hot. Um, it's a little warm to the touch, but a little warm, that's as far as I would go as in, in saying that. Um, this does come with a lifetime warranty on the UVC bulbs. And that's right from phone soap, and that's pretty awesome. So use this to your heart's content. The UVC will work forever, guaranteed. Okay, so what else can you put in here, guys? Um, of course, your phone. This is made for phones. I showed you putting my mask in there. Um, another idea I had, again, going back to if you have kids, you like to sanitize things, I went and grabbed my the thermometer on my kid's room. Oh, look at that, fits right in there. His comb, boom, fits right in there. Boom, 10 minutes, sanitized. All right, you can put keys in there, whatever fits. I don't think, binkies won't even fit in here. You'll need the home soap for that, but that's a good use for the home soap, a binky sanitizer. Um, I did try my AirPods. Now my AirPods are kind of small. Uh, I didn't measure them, but um, within the case, so I put the AirPod case in there, it doesn't close all the way. So the AirPods are just slightly too big. So if you're wondering what's too big, uh, those are too big. Um, this is quite large. Here's the dimension. So you can see if your phone is, fits these dimensions, it should fit in here. Now, if I do this, which probably makes more sense, take my AirPods out, put them in there and it closes up, now I can sanitize my AirPods, which I'm probably gonna do right after this video because I've never done that before and that public restroom stat earlier kinda grossed me out. Okay guys, so let's get down to brass tacks. How much is this thing? Well, this one that I have, the Phone Soap 3, the home version that you have to plug in, this, these run around 80 bucks. You can get them right on Amazon, two day shipping. Um, the link down below for you to find them easily if you're interested and um, please check out that link they are affiliate links they don't cost you anything extra um, but they support me as I spend all my hard-earned money buying these uh, little gadgets to tell you all about okay so 80 bucks and you get a fully functional sanitizer for your phone and accessories awesome I think that's really cool but really when are you using this thing and I think that might be something people are trying really hard time to grasp when things like this are introduced. Okay, great, I have a UV sanitizer. Uh, I'm not, it's not gonna trigger to me that I get home from work and I have to, oh, I better go sanitize my phone. Uh, you have the notches, so you can hear your alerts, um, the charging ports. So you put this next to your bed at night on your bedside table, you plug it in and close it when you go to sleep. It can stay in there all night. It only turns on for 10 minutes, sanitizes. You can even open it and close it again in the morning if you really wanna make yourself feel better. Um, but you wake up and then you have a fully sanitized phone ready for the next day to get nice and dirty. Okay guys, well that's the phone soap. If you like this video, um, please let me know. I'd sure appreciate a thumbs up. And if you got yourself a phone soap or maybe you don't like UVC for some reason, um, let's start that conversation. Let me know down below in the comments. Okay, so I know you're all, you're all thinking 80 bucks to sanitize my phones, I can just wipe them off. Maybe you're right, but I know we all probably know at least one person that would really like one of these. I, foremost, I know the perfect person to give this to as a gift, and I can't wait. 
So um, they, this will make a perfect gift and they even sell them in two packs on their website. Um, so go check them out, phone soap, read some reviews, uh, hit the like button, subscribe. See you next time. <laughs>